I think we can start slowly. I hope you have been you know, enjoying your time here in Vancouver. I hope you liked the event this year. Uh, we had the first in-person event last year, so this is the second time we had the CityCon in person, and hopefully next year will be even better. And if you, any of you have any comments, feedback, just send me a Slack message, a message, uh, an email, and we make this event even better next year. Thank you. Yeah, I think I told some of you, I met with Andrea here in 2016, so this is the third time I am here, and I hope to come back, so it's really a nice place. So as you know, CD Foundation uh, recognizes contributions of our contri community members, and we uh, give awards to our community members from the CDF, based on their contributions to our efforts within the CDF, like outreach efforts, documentation efforts, and so on. In addition to community, CDF community awards, we also give awards to our project contributors, contributors as well. And today we have lots of awards to give, which is a great thing, because then it means our communities are really contributing to our projects and to our efforts in CDF. And as you see there, we will hand out 18 hours, and I hope we can all celebrate their contributions and achievements together and recognize their contributions. So on CDF level, we have five awards, Top Ambassador, Continuous Enthusiast, Top Contributor, Top Documenter, and Top End User. And on project level, we have uh, CDF Project Contributor Awards for all our projects. In addition to that, we have special awards for graduated projects for Jenkins and Tecton, Mass Valuable Advocate and Security MVP. So some of the winners are with us today, which is great because it's always nice to have people here so they can see who is contributing and who is putting out effort in making our projects better. And some of our winners couldn't make it this year, so we have a recording for their acceptance speeches, so we will be watching their you know, uh, acceptance speeches after we passed awards. So we start with uh, project awards first, alphabetical order. So you know we are not favoring any project over the other. So the first project award is for a CD events project, which is uh, one of the younger projects within CDF. And the most valuable contributor award uh, goes to Emil Backmark from Ericsson. And I worked with Emil for years, I think six, seven years when I was working for Ericsson. And Emil has contributed consistently and continuously to CD events. He has been with CDF since very early days of the interoperability seek. And he has been working with Andrea to turn this idea of interoperability into its own special interest group and to a project CD events. And he has been part of uh, Technology Site Committee over the past year as an end user representative. And he has been talking at the conferences and he has been passing the word about the uh, work we have been doing within CD Foundation within the interoperability area. So thanks, Emil, for your contributions. And I will be seeing you in Sweden soon. The second award is for uh, Jenkins X. And Again, Jenkins X also has most valuable contributor. And for Jenkins X this year, more than Swan Tesson won the award, so please. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. So Morten has been very active contributor to Jenkins X project in the last few years, and he has made significant contributions not limited to the code improvements themselves or adding new features, but he has been part of forming the Technology Site Committee for Jenkins X. Jenkins X uh, formed Technology Site Committee, I think, last year, and he has been uh, chairing the Technology Site Committee as well. So thanks, Martin, for your contributions. So the next award is for Ortelius, and again, the winner is not with us today. But the winner is Sasha Varton, so please give him. And I think he is based in South Africa, if I'm not mistaken. Sasha. 
Sorry? Yeah, yeah. I'm just giving <laughs> info. So Sasha has been doing lots of contributions to Ortelius, and he developed Ortelius in the box. And that was on the wish list for a long time of the, for the community. And then he also worked up setting up Ortelius dev environment. And hopefully this will attract more developers to spend more time with Ortelius itself. Because like if we make our developers' lives easier to give a try to our projects, then they will hopefully join as contributors because they will like the project and they will continue to make it better. Oh, sorry, <laughs> it was too fast. <laughs> sorry for the spoiler. So Persia is the latest project that joined the CD Foundation. Uh, we announced uh, Persia joining the CD Foundation in October during our CD Summit uh, in Detroit, which was a collocated event to KubeCon uh, Cloud NativeCon. And the winner, which you saw it already, Steve Taylor. So please, <laughs> and very, uh, please. So Steve. Uh, yes, please. Steve is a primary contributor to Persia and has been with the project from the very beginning and is continuing to drive it forward. And he is the best. This is the person who nominated Steve. So, Steve. Thank you very much, everybody. Um, yes, like. Uh, you're saying I was one of the ones that helped uh, get Persia moved over into uh, the CD Foundation, um, helped with the governance board of that, got the bootstrap going. So um, we are looking for contributors, always are. So if you are interested in anything around blockchain, uh, some ledgers and immutable builds, uh, please get in touch with me. Thanks. Thanks, Steve. So next up is Screwdriver CD, and again, Screwdriver CD community has a Most Valuable Contributor Award, and unfortunately, the winner is not with us today, but we have a recording from him. So the winner for Screwdriver Most Valuable Contributor Award is Yuta Kaneda. <laughs> and he made a big impact on screwdriver CD project by introducing, make, working with breaking changes, he made a big major jump, uh, bump upgrading Ember, and it helped uh, to lift the screwdriver UI's framework, and he also works with security aspects of the screwdriver. The next award is for Shipwright project, and as some of you might know, Shipwright is one of the different projects we have within CD Foundation. It's Kubernetes native build framework, if I am not mistaken. And again, uh, Shipwright uh, has most valuable contributor award, and unfortunately, the winner is not with us today. But yeah, please uh, congratulate him for winning the award, Otavio Fernandez. <laughs> and. Otavio established two new projects within uh, Shipwright. Uh, the first one is called Setup, and it is a GitHub action that installs Tekton, Shipwright, and Container Registry in a kind cluster to simplify the setup of Shipwright in uh, test setups in uh, Shipwright projects. The second one is the Triggers project, which integrates container image builds running in Shipwright into larger CI flows. So it can uh, already run a build as part of a Tekton pipeline. So yeah, thanks, Otavio, for your contribution contributions. And the last uh, project award is for Spinnaker and Spinnaker Most Valuable Contributor. I think he is with us today, David Byron. Oh yeah, please, thanks, David. David has shown significant commitment to Spinnaker last year in both leadership and as an individual contributor by topping the chart of number of commits in 2023. Congratulations, and he played a critical role in transitioning and simplifying the Spinnaker build and release process. So thanks a lot, David, for your contributions.
don't, don't have a speech prepared. Uh, yeah, I'll just keep turning the crank on Spinnaker. Also happy to have other, other contributors. Lowell's plenty to do. Thanks, David. So, as I mentioned, graduated projects have three award categories, so we are moving to our graduated project awards, and the uh, first uh, award uh, awards will be handed out to Jenkins uh, project award winners. The first award category for Jenkins is most valuable advocate, and the winner is with us today. And please congratulate Mark Waite as the winner. Thanks, Mark. And he has been advocating about Jenkins on all the social media and so on, and he has been reviewing pull requests and working with YouTube videos with fellow community members, and he is working with Six and so on. So it's too long to, you know, list all your contributions. So. Thanks, Fatih. So just as was said, looking for additional contributors. Happy to have more people to help. Oh, wait a sec. That's the, that's the job of an advocate, isn't it? Please consider your opportunity to contribute. It's a, it's a delight. Thanks very much. Open source software is a bunch of fun, isn't it? Thanks. Thanks, Matt. The second uh, award category for Jenkins as a graduate, pro graduated project is the most valuable contributor. And the winner is not with us today, but I believe he recorded acceptance speech. So please congratulate John Falschik for his you know, award. So he has been contributing to Jenkins community a lot, especially improving the look and feel of Jenkins, and he has successfully implemented major changes, changes to Jenkins user interface, removed outdated components, and advanced the state of Jenkins user uh, experience. Thanks a lot, Jan, for your contributions. The last award for Jenkins project is Jenkins Security and MIFI. As we all know, the security topic has been pretty hot since last year or so, with executive order and so on. So it is important for our graduate, graduate projects to continue the security, the state of their uh, security of their software. And obviously, this is valid for our other projects as well. And this is, by the way, for not graduate project security is one of the criteria to pass in order to graduate, so it's important, and that's why we recognize the contributions in security area for our projects, for our graduate, graduated projects. And the winner is not with us today, but please congratulate Daniel Beck for his contributions <laughs> to Jenkins. So, uh, Daniel, uh, created a work with the Jenkins code scanning tooling project, and that project went to GA recently, and he has been uh, working with the documentation for Jenkins security, and he reported more than 50 vulnerabilities alone, and he continues to ensure the update center is stable and secure. As you know, Jenkins has a rich plugin ecosystem, and it is important to keep the plugins uh, secure as well, and update center as well. So thanks, Daniel, for your contributions. So the last project we have awards for today is Tecton. And Tecton, as you know, it was graduated from CDF uh, October, and we announced it's graduated during CD Summit uh, in Detroit. And Tecton project will have three awards. And the first award is Most Valuable Advocate. And the winner is with us today, so Andrea. So Tecton is one of the hats Andrea wears, like Tecton, CDU, and CDF, TOC, and everything. But Tecton has been, uh, Andrea has been doing other efforts around, you know, advocating the use of Tecton and so on. So thanks a lot for your contributions. And yeah. Yeah, um, it's, it's been great contributing to Tecton. It's a very fun community. I've been with the community for a while, and it's always fun to be in the community and always very happy to go and advocate about Tecton. 
And we always need new contributors, so come and join us. <laughs> Thanks, Andrew. So the next award category is Most Valuable Contributor, and the winner is not with us today, unfortunately, but we have someone to accept or give a speech about uh, the winner. So the winner is Jerob Kiputo, and Christy, please welcome, and please congratulate <laughs> Jerob for... Um, so Jerob has been contributing to Tecton very consistently, bringing several exciting new features into Tecton and leading the discussion topics on different topics like larger ZAS and artifacts and so on. And we don't have her award with us today because we shipped oh. it to her. But Christy, please. Wait, does this work? Oh, yeah. So I, I guess anyone who's worked with Jerop, I think, would say that she is a pleasure to work with. And also, uh, Tecton and Google are very lucky to have her. So, so excited to see her win this. It's very well deserved. Thanks, Christy. <laughs> and the last project award is Tecton Security MVP. And the winner is with us today. So I would like to welcome Billy to stage. Congratulations, Billy. So Billy has driven a lot of features around chains, the security, and he has helped us crafting our press release because Tecton announced a lot of security features. So it's too long to the six store and you know Tecton catalog and everything. Thanks a lot for your contributions, Billy. And yeah, this is correct. Thank you. Yeah, it's been uh, great to be involved in the, the security space in Tecton and supply chain. Uh, always happy to help, even if you're not in the Tecton space. Uh, happy to have conversation around supply chain, security, anything else. Let us know how we can help. Thank you. Thanks, Billy. So that was the last of our project awards. And now we have five uh, CDF awards to uh, hand out. And the first award is the top CDF ambassador. As you know, uh, we have ambassador program, which is a yearly cohort. And we announced the latest uh, cohort, 2023 cohort uh, last week. And uh, we have lots of great contributors within our ambassadors program all around the world, like from Australia to India, Turkey, uh, Switzerland, and US and Canada. And the winner of this year's Top CDF Ambassador is not with us today, but I'm sure he will be uh, watching this recording. So, Saim Safdar, thanks, uh, Saim, for your contributions. <laughs> and yeah, he is a very enthusiastic person. I, I believe he is working on crafting the first workshop, very first workshop, if I am not mistaken. So. Thanks, Ad, same for your contributions, and we hope to you know, see even more contributions. The second CDF award is Continuous Enthusiast. Uh, I think, uh, again, this is uh, a really different category because this requires you to talk about CDF with everyone, pass the good word. Uh, past the word about good work our community is doing, and it requires energy, it requires the power to excite people, get them to stand up so they don't sleep. And the uh, winner is Lori Loruso. Yeah, yeah, no, it's okay. We're going to go drink later. Oh, this is being recorded. Okay, anyway. <laughs> uh, it's been awesome uh, getting to work with the CDF. I believe in the mission. I think everybody here is rad, and we all have really cool things to do. And I just appreciate being able to represent you guys on a larger stage. So, yeah, thanks. Thanks, Lori. So the third award category is CDF Top Documenter. And as you might have noticed, if you check the CDMS website, for example, it was refreshed recently. And if you have been looking at the best practice website, it's been kept up to date with new information is brought in, for example, the supply chain security maturity metrics documentation integrated. And one of the bigger contributors to the documentation efforts within CDF is Terry Cox. So please 
congratulate him. And the fourth award is top CDF contributor. And again, this is an important uh, award because it is not just contributing projects, but also contributing on CDF level across six, across technical, technical initiatives and within technology side committee level. And the winner for this year's top CDF contributor award is Steve Taylor. Oh, um, again, uh, thanks again, um, you know, for reaching out to all the different projects and being on the board of the TOC uh, really gives me insight into everything that's happening. So keep doing what you're doing. Uh, I think we're on a roll. Thanks, Steve. And the last CDF award is top end user. And this award is given to our uh, uh, end user contributing companies. The previous years, I believe, Fidelity Investments won the end user award. Ericsson won the end user award. And this year, we have the top end user award winner is eBay. So please, and Aramint, yeah, we have Aramint with us today. So eBay. Thank you, CDF, uh, for recognizing uh, eBay's involvement with the community, and uh, such an honor. And uh, we are excited about the future and uh, look forward to be more involved. Thanks, Arvin. Thank you. <laughs> so, as I mentioned, and as you noticed, like some of the winners are not with us today, but they uh, took their times and uh, recorded their acceptance speeches. So, let's. Listen them, starting with Emil and others. Hi, and thank you for the CD Events Most Valuable Contributor Award. I'm humbled to receive this award, and I would like to propose a big shout out to Andrea Frittoli, who is my co-chair in the SIG Events, and he is just as much as a contributor to the CD Events project as I am, if not more. We are constantly looking forward for new contributors to the event protocol, <laughs> so don't hesitate to join us in our meetings if you would like to form the event protocol for CICD ecosystem for the future. See you around. Hey everybody. Thanks to all those that voted for me to become the Jenkins country to the year 2023. It really means a great deal to me. So thanks again. Have a wonderful conference. Hello. My name is Morten Svanteson. And uh, thank you for the award for the most valuable contributor to, to the Jenkins X project. Uh, something I have achieved through scratching where it itches. Hello everyone, uh, my name is Otavio and I'm very humbled to have received the CD, the CD Foundation Award for the Shiprite uh, project. Uh, I am one of the developers, uh, one of the members of the community, and I've been working quite a lot last year with Shipwright, and we will continue this year. So I'm very humbled to have received this award, uh, and I'm very happy. Hello, my name is Sasha Wharton from Cape Town, South Africa, and I was awarded the Ortilius Community Award. A massive thank you to the CDF, Steve Taylor, Tracy Reagan, and the Ortilius community. P.S. Aliens are real. Hello, everyone, and big congrats to all the speakers of CDCon 2023. I wish I was there. Super day, super happy, super special day, being awarded as a top investor for 2022. And huge thanks to all this investor I am fortunate to work with during a whole year. Big shout out to the Cotillius community members. I can feel your support every day. Award are the motivator for doing more great things. Hoping to do the same again. Enjoy CDCon 2023. I'm sorry that I couldn't be with you today, um, but uh, I am very happy to accept this award on behalf of everyone who's uh, collaborated together on the CDF Best Practices uh, website and documentation. Uh, it's been uh, a huge collaborative effort 
um, couldn't have been achieved without everybody who's come together and committed to adding their knowledge and experience to this huge base of knowledge that we've managed to pull together. Uh, so thank you everyone and, and particular thanks to my uh, co-chair and all around amazing person Tara. Uh, it certainly would not have been such a fun journey without your help. Thank you all. Hello, my name is Yuta Kaneda. I work as a development member for screwdriver.cd at Yahoo Japan. I am glad to receive screwdriver most valuable contributor from CD Foundation for my work. Thank you. That was all. Thanks everyone who won the awards today, this year, and thanks to the, you know, uh, thanks for sending their acceptance speeches and like this is just a small group of community members we have you know winning awards but as you all know like there is huge number of people our friends our community members making our projects move forward coming up with ideas fixing issues helping people to know how they can use our projects how they can get those projects to do what they want to do so really i want to thank everyone who is contributing to CDF, whatever they are doing, reviewing PRs, speaking at our events, updating documentation, sending Slack messages or responding Slack messages. As you know, the community strive if we see each other, helping each other on wherever we are. So thanks everyone for contributing to contrib their foundation. And thanks to all of you for being here, recognizing contributions of our community members. So thanks again. And our program committee, I want to thank their efforts again, because this is, I think, one of the last sessions of CDCon and GitOpsCon. Thanks, Lori, for chairing the program committee. Adam, I see you here. And Carlos, you are here. Thank you. Garima uh, is not here. Alisa is not here. But uh, Andrew was around. So thanks to the entire program committee for their help crafting this year's program. And thanks to our pro sponsors, Gold Armory, Opsenex, Harness Puppet, Otaclot, Firefly, and Prodvana. And please, next event is happening in September, continuous delivery mini summit and the CFP is open now. Please submit talks and then we see each other again in Bilbao. The food is delicious according to some of my friends. And safe travels, thanks. Thank